Evening YouTube, that boy Teresa here, bringing you a little challenge guide for the second mission of Ghost Recon Future Soldiers campaign called Subtle Arrow. Uh, the challenges are fairly easy for this one. Um, I mean, the mission itself is pretty easy. Uh, the only tricky challenge is killing 10 enemies with a sniper rifle while stood stood still, stood on the same spot basically. Uh, I'd recommend playing the mission first. Um, well, I, I think you have to play the mission first anyway, complete it once to be able to choose a sniper rifle because the first time through I was killing everyone with a, with an assault rifle I, I couldn't actually choose the sniper rifle maybe that's me I mean look around at the time but for me I, I couldn't find a sniper rifle to use it just kept giving me assault rifles so anyway obviously get yourself a sniper whack yourself a suppressor on there and you know whatever other gadgets and whatnot you feel comfortable with keep yourself a decent backup weapon um, you know just in case plans go to shit whatever <laughs> um, but in this mission you are equipped with the optical camouflage um, and this little fancy uh, view mod called oh shit magnetic view or something like that <laughs> um, this is one of the challenges you need to get 10 kills while you're using this view v very easy to do very simple it's just straight up in this view 10 kills you know what I mean nothing fancy it doesn't have to be 10 kills in a row whatever you know what I mean so you'll easily get this one on your way through the mission um, as it does come in handy quite a lot anyway now after your contact drops you off at this location, um, you'll be informed that you're not allowed to raise the alarm, otherwise the mission will be a failure. Now from this part of the mission, you need to make sure you kill um, everyone you see. Now again, this is where the... God, I forgot it again. The magnetic view... Um, <laughs> comes in handy. If it's not even called that, I'm, I'm going to be seriously embarrassed. But anyway, this is where this style of view comes in handy. Um, you know what I mean? Take your time. Obviously, you don't want to get spotted anywhere. Use your uh, fellow squad members to wipe out guys as well. Just so you don't accidentally miss any. Uh, because another challenge is to kill all the soldiers who are occupying the refugee camp. <sighs> Excuse me. Now, the challenge, once you complete the challenge successfully, it'll pop up um, before you need to start. F no, after you've followed the, um, the the soldier that you're after. That's a no -go. And then, once you find out a certain piece of information from eavesdropping, um, you won't be able to... Pr progress to the next part of the mission anywhere until you kill all the guys in that area so that's another easy challenge to to knock out really but as for the sniping 10 guys while stood still um, I spent a lot of time in this mission just trying to figure out you know where was going to be the best spot to stand and there's not really a lot of comfortable options um, this is on recruit difficulty, easiest difficulty. And the first opportunity I tried was on a rooftop. After you've finished following the uh, the guy that this mission's based around, basically the secondary objective, there's a rooftop you can climb up to. And I was trying to like position myself, you know, somewhere decent on that rooftop and see if I could kill ten guys. Um, from up there without moving but it's quite tough because the enemies come from all angles and you're pretty much forced to move <laughs> so once you finish all of this area you'll come to an area called the 
her or dorm or something like that where you need to stop a plane from taking off well a jumbo jet it's a massive thing um, but anyway I'll discuss that more once we get to that part so basically here this is where you need to follow the soldier um, make sure you wipe out all the guys around this area as you can see here uh, you know what I mean I'm taking advantage of having my squad guys with me making them you know what I mean do the job what they get paid for while I can you know just position myself keep an eye out for more enemies keep following the soldier um, you know what I mean do my bit because as you're walking around so long as you've got so long as your teammates have got a line of sight on enemy soldiers you know what I mean once they're ready and lined up you can just hit RB and they'll take you know any other soldiers out that you've got lined up for them now some little um, pointers that are worth mentioning uh, regarding the challenges are obviously you can press back and it will bring up a little um, but a little, little menu type thing it shows your map and it shows what challenges you've completed and what challenges you've actually failed if you have failed any because obviously some challenges are dedicated solely to specific areas throughout a mission so in terms of the sniping one where you need to be stood on the spot um, if you're unsure of how many kills you've got or if you've kind of ruined the stood still kill streak, um, it will show you your count, your kill count in the uh, in the challenge menu. Obviously, x amount of kills out of ten, uh, which obviously comes in handy for the next part. And it's also definitely worth mentioning that once you've successfully completed a challenge, if you fail an objective or are basically forced to restart from your last checkpoint um, your challenge will still be saved so you know what I mean nailing these 10 guys while stood still is it's kind of tricky you know what I mean it did take me a few tries to um, successfully complete it and once I did finally do it um, I didn't I didn't have enough time to shoot the plane down um, but I'll show you in the video anyway, just for, just as solid proof that despite failing the mission, as soon as I restarted it, um, the challenges were still there. And even even quitting the mission after you've completed your challenges, uh, your challenges are still complete. So, you know what I mean? That's quite good. So this is the area. The Aerodrome, not the Aerodome. <laughs> So you start out next to this tree. Um, straight away, it doesn't, look, it doesn't look like there's ten guys to shoot, but this this is my tactic that worked for me. So basically, I run to the left, still keep, you know, some distance away from being spotted at all. And there's your first two guys straight away. That second guy is quite vital because that's the only time he really appears in that doorway. Um, he with killing that second guy in the background sometimes another enemy will find his dead body um, if that's the case I'd recommend just restarting from the last checkpoint as you can see here as soon as I've come to these guys who are talking to each other um, the alerts kicked off this is where you've got to be pretty quick pretty crafty to finish these guys off uh, one because they will eventually start spraying you and two because obviously you don't want your squad mates to get the kills before you because obviously it does need to be you who kills these guys so as you can see now because I was spotted the planes taking off I've got like less than 10 seconds to try and shoot the engine but it was long gone anyway but not to worry as you saw the challenge popped up the challenge was complete and you know if if you haven't actually finished the mission first time round up to that point you know what I mean once you restart 
there you go all challenges still complete or whatever challenges you've done up to that you know up to that part and again just to add more evidence to the pile I quit the game here because obviously I'd already done the mission before come back to the uh, mission briefing <clears throat> just to you know triple check that the challenges are still complete and they are so there you have it challenge is complete I hope that's not been too long for people um, I'll be back tomorrow with more videos after I finish work so until then thanks for watching